Um, okay. Um, so, I've been off stream for a couple of days. Don't worry about that sound. Uh, I've been off stream the, uh, the past couple of days because I was dissatisfied with what my YouTube uploads looked like. Um, because the footage I have looks crystal clear. Look, ah, oh, fuck. Looks, uh, can I just, you lie and say, okay. Um, and the footage I, okay, hold on, let me, I can't focus. Come on, Jamie! <laughs> um, no, not that, god fucking damn it. Minimize, fuck. Okay. Um. Well, now it's going to do that. I've been gone the past couple of days because uh, I was not satisfied with what my YouTube uploads looked like. Um. The capture looks really beautiful and high fidelity, very high quality image. And then when you upload it to YouTube, um, their encoding compresses the ever loving fuck shit out of it. So it looks like a blocky mess, even though the actual footage was very nice looking. So that's, you know, that's fun. Um, <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm just drinking water every now and again. You can't see it, but I got my candle ambiance back. So I've, I've got a room that smells nice and fresh while I get super stressed out in this video game. And there's like a light candle ambiance beside like the computer screens. I feel like it kind of works, sort of. But, uh, yeah, that's where I've been, doing a lot of testing. I use Doom Eternal to do a lot of my, my footage testing, so I'm actually... I'm probably going to end up playing that game after this one, because I really fucking, uh... Like, enjoyed playing levels over and over and mastering it and becoming, like, a fucking monster. Just because I needed the test footage. I think I have, like... 12 videos of test footage uploaded to my YouTube, uh, my personal YouTube channel now, um, of just, like, testing various settings and seeing how good it looks. I'll tell you, tech testing can be a very, uh, technical troubleshooting can be such a frustrating experience, yet very rewarding when you, like, finally nail it down. Because on top of that, like, when I tried streaming Modern Warfare a couple nights ago, and I was getting, like, that really awful micro-stuttering that made me want to jump off a cliff, um, I was like, you know, it can't be my recording software. It's not really putting any kind of load. You know, I, I have a 1080 Ti, which has an entire section of the graphics card specifically devoted to recording. Ah, hello, Alexis. Yeah, I think you're actually here, I think you're actually here before Cloudy is, believe it or not. Um, but yeah, so like my 1080 Ti, it has like a whole section of the graphics card that is specifically devoted to rendering, uh, frames for like encoding stuff. Yeah, I know. Uh, it's very surprising. There's one other person who I think is lurking in chat and I don't know who it is, but that happens a lot. Um, but anyway, whole section of the card devoted to encoding shit. So like if you're recording, so that way there's no FPS loss. So I was like... Why am I getting these micro stutters in Modern Warfare? It doesn't make any sense. Turns out there's this really cool little thing that happens where um, when you have shader caches enabled, so in other words, it's a bunch of shaders that your computer pre-compiles before you play Modern Warfare, and then all your computer does is pull from those shaders while you're playing the game. Well, apparently, if you have so many shaders downloaded, it, like, fucks up. Uh... I don't know, something about, like, when it's trying to pull the shaders that you've downloaded. Sorry about that. So then what happens is, while you're playing, it happened for me, like, every 10 to 15 minutes of gameplay, I would start getting this, this, like, it would be like a slight, like, halt. It would be like a slight frame skip. Like, a couple of frames would skip. It wouldn't be something super noticeable, but, like, it was, it was noticeable enough that it was annoying. So I spent like an entire day trying to figure out what was going on there to see if it was my coding, if it was my software, was I having too much going on in the background. But nope, I just found I had to go to the shader caches, clear them out, and then let the shaders re-download. Boom, jitter, like micro stutters are gone, and I can record beautifully in Modern Warfare again. So I'll probably be playing more of that too. But anyway, yeah, so that's where I've been, what I've been doing, and why I've been off stream for a couple of days, but... 
I was also like beat fucking tired because I I don't know how to end streams. I kind of like staying and talking to uh you know Alexis in your case, you and Cloudy if you guys are still around. Uh so it's uh it's very hard for me to like you know do some self control and like end the stream because I know I need sleep and stuff. But anyway, I'll play the fucking game now and stop fucking talking. You don't come to a stream to listen to a dude talk for 15 hours. Um, I kind of didn't want to keep playing because I really hate this section of the game. Because it's, it's legitimately terrifying. And the enemy in this area sucks cock. <laughs> like big dick and balls <sighs> dive room console what uh, I'm, not, I'm not gonna worry about it I'm not gonna worry about it. Oh, this is fun. It's gonna be a lot of jump scares here if I remember right. Why am I still playing this game? I need to what? Dive room. Okay, we won't go in there yet. Go into the dive room first. Can't get in the dive room. That's fine. Why? Did something happen in the last couple of days that I, I don't know about or while I've been gone? Okay, so this is just a hiding place. I mean, I guess she could be watching another stream though, couldn't she? I know the last time I went live, like, she said she was watching someone else and just happened to, like, get the notification for mine. I also, like I said, I was gone for, like, a couple of days, so maybe she thought I just kind of, like, gave up or something. I don't know. Wouldn't be the first time I gave up on streaming. <laughs> I've done it, like, four or five times previous. <laughs> So is she here? Is it here that she pops up? I don't remember. I kind of wish I remember. Oh, I'm sure. I think she actually, yeah, she went to, she went to bed. I mean, she left the stream not long after you because she said she was tired too. Tested and ready. Omicron scans are in the arc. Loaded equipment and extra rations. Climber calibrated for weight. Crane operator ready. Omicron standing by for pickup in two days. Would I like to participate while I'm playing a horror game? Um, yeah, I 
I guess, if you want me to. I, I guess I have to be an entertainer, don't I? That's why I'm here. I don't want to... I'm press this button. Some shit's going to happen. <laughs> I could, like, not make those noises. Oh, yeah, I got it. An adjective. Can I not use curse words? <laughs> is this Omicron? Are they, are they allowed? Is so basic, so limited. I hope it's not the Omnitool falling apart. Okay, we need to find I'll, I'll make it, like, sort of a, a PG you know, so one. A cocky. Without ending up like a recycled can of soda? You think we'll find one that fits me? I mean, I'm kind of in a suit already. That's been bothering me, too. You know how you were transferred from Vancouver? Toronto. From then to now. How could I forget? Okay, so we do it again. You want to send me to the future? No, you idiot. I want to transfer your mind into a new body. What? Look, we already know it can be done. We don't need to make it a big deal. It is a big deal, Kath. It's a huge fucking deal. There's got to be something else that can take us down there. But Dunbat at Theta Tony. was the only vessel that could take that fresh air. Italian so Tony. Then think of something No, Fat else. Tony. Simon, please. Wait, that's okay. It has to be just suggest? fine. Just Tony. Because I can't, I can't Fox stick anything else on right. there. Not... I'm not promising anything. Thank you, Simon. Have a look around the room. This is where they would keep the power suits, if there are any left. Italian Tony, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, God. Nice. I found one of the power suits. There's a dead woman inside. At least I think it's a woman. Just like the body we found in the annex. She's missing her head. Gross. This could work in our favor, though. Look for a terminal nearby. See if you can boot it up. Jesus Christ. Hematsu power suit. A high pressure power suit guaranteed to withstand temperatures spanning from 50 degrees Celsius to negative 75 degrees Celsius while keeping a steady 40 degrees Celsius on the inside. The suit will automatically shield the wearer from pressure and maintain the normal one atmosphere up to a depth of 5,000 meters. The onboard controller monitors uh, the onboard controller monitors the wearer's physical state and is able to minimize risk of shock, hyperventilation, and even dehydration. The suit is easily assembled through rotating neck and wrist rings that locks the gloves and the helmet in place. Note that the joints won't seal unless the controller is able to identify a wearer through a set of sensory systems. Suits may be locked to specific personnel, but as a default, the suit will accept anyone. The controller is the... I need to give Italian Tony a friend. Barbarossa. Uh, Caribbean pirate. Totally not stealing that from anywhere. Oh, I only have original ideas. Uh, it uses this information to provide the wearer with the safest experience. I think I actually read the first part of that. Um, One at the climber station and then another at Tau. Very cool. Which one was it? Is it D? Not exactly grade A material. Don't write it off just yet. Remember what we found out at Theta. The suit you are wearing is basically just a Cortex chip working a few pints of structure gel powered by the on-suit battery pack. And a dead colleague, Imogen Reed. Exactly. If you think about it, we're actually incredibly lucky. We found a suit with an already dead body inside. 
I guess you're right. What about the WoW? What makes you think it'll play along? It's not magic, it's algorithms. A set pattern. The WoW won't be able to deny us, even if it was capable of wanting to. I'm still not crazy about this plan. It feels wrong. Please, Simon. I can't give up on the art. You can't remember what an adverb is. So we need okay, a cortex um, chip, structure gel, and a battery pack. That's one hell of a shopping list. Grotesquely. Thanks. I'll just hang around here if that's okay. I'll be back. Can your friend remember what an adverb is? <laughs> that's like, that's kind of sad, dude. NGL, bro. I totally miss what the fuck she just said. Come on, we need to get a Cortex chip, a battery pack, and some structure gel. <laughs> oh my god. Look for a Cortex chip, a battery pack, and some structure gel. Okay. Alright. Please don't do a jump scare. Please don't do a jump scare. Please don't do a jump scare. That's right, I can go back. Because that was the dive room. Hey man, how's it going? Okay, so... Excuse you? Containment 1... Biomech Laboratory, Biologic Laboratory. Okay. An occupation. Marine Biologist. Biologic Laboratory. Oh. Okay. No whispering, please. Thank you. Don't whisper. Um. Okay. Nope. I don't like the whispering. Um. So then the upper section, we've got an airlock. Mess hall and a power room. Which is probably where we'll get the battery pack. And a Cortex chip. Where the fuck would we get that? Oh, let's just... East stairwell. Can't get in hydroponics. Dude, I don't care, man. I worry for you and your friend. Like, desperately. It's... Jesus Christ. South Hall. Workshop and comms. Dress room is behind me.
thing is, she's not even the friend I have to worry about. The other ones are a lot. Yeah, it sounds like you have a really uh, bad time picking friends, if I'm being honest. Laboratory first. Let's go. I guess it happens. I've I've had a lot of failed friendships in my day too, so I get it, dude. Sometimes you just have a habit of like Assuming the best in people <laughs> when sometimes you got to let them prove themselves, you know The Mad Lib you just did? Why, why would you ask that? Uh, I think Ross is trying to tell me something. About Psy Alpha. Eight months ago down. How was how was the marine biologist part Crazy. integrated uh into that story? It would make sense for Barbarossa to be a marine biologist, but it I guess it'd be kinda weird if Italian Tony gave a fuck about the fish. really should have been listening to that and it totally wasn't. I think they injected them with structure gel. That's cool and fun. Clean room. There's a clean room laid.
Oh, cool. Love seeing that. Really need to, like... Really, I need to get a better chair. Fuck. A better desk, rather. The chair won't really mean much if I can't, like, put my arms up on the on the desk. Is it talking? What the fuck? Oh my god. Lisa Cameron. The structure gel has been charged and actually keeps going for a while, even when we're even when removed from a power source. If applied to circuits, it seems to help out with connectivity. It seems like it's not only connectivity, but even functionality. The gel can make simple machinery work and act more efficiently. However, the modifications that the WoW has made to the gel are full of extra information that doesn't necessarily make sense. When applied to something more complicated, it causes the gel to act as a cancer upon the host, eventually ruining it. We could use the gel to our advantage, but it needs to be uncalibrated to get rid of the bad code. Applied gel to dead mouse. The gel caused the mouse to appear alive. It was put into the same habitat as a living mouse. The reanimated mouse was ap apathetic while the living one seemed stressed. After 15 minutes, the reanimated mouse attacked and killed the living mouse. Half an hour later, the reanimated mouse... Okay, well, thank you. I appreciate that. Half an hour later, the reanimated mouse stopped moving. The corpse was solid as the gel had hardened within it. What does friend think? Does friend agree, or, does, uh, or do they think you're batshit insane? Reanimated another mouse with structure gel. This time it was done with uncalibrated gel as produced by Eames. The results were impressive. The thing appears catatonic, but it's more of a sleepwalker. To avoid the thing hardening as before, electromagn as before, electromagnets are used to cause a low electrical current within the animal. I still don't hear it. I, I, I genuinely do not hear it. It's one of those things where, like, voice dysmorphia? Is, <laughs> can that be a thing? Or is it just, like, a different kind of body dysmorphia? Because, like, I... <laughs> I don't know why people say that, man. I don't hear it. Everyone tells me it. I don't hear it. I don't think it would be appealing to listen to for a long period of time. It's one of those things where, like, you listen to yourself. It's like you look at a picture of yourself and you're like, you look at all, you point out all the flaws, right? Because you're like, I don't like that. That's not good. That's not good. It's like, you know, if I listen to a recording myself, I don't, I don't hear the radio voice. Like, when I listen to people on the radio, I don't hear my voice. I hear people who have, like, good voices that are, are nice to listen to, and not mine. <laughs> I wonder if that just comes from, like, a, a whole life growing up of, like, being constantly told you're annoying, even though I was kind of, like, a spastic oddist when I was growing up, but that's fine. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't know why you're apologizing, Cloudy. Also, hello. <laughs> Don't worry, uh, you're here in time for me to, like, bully myself every f- <laughs> Yeah, but you- uh, that's it, though, man. Like, it's just- You're hypercritical of yourself. It just- it happens. Anyway, thing appears catatonic, but it's more of a sleepwalker. To avoid the thing hardening as before, electromagnets are electromagnets are used to cause a low electrical current within the animal. This has also provided us the ability to somewhat control it. The structure gel <laughs> you know what people at my at my job say because I have to constantly communicate over radio. They tell me I have like a robot voice, and that's what it sounds like. Oh, thank you guys. You're like you're like, hey, this fucking idiot that's going nowhere is going live. We got to do something. Otherwise, he's never going to get off the ground with this shit content. Um, the, <laughs> the problem is not the gel, <laughs> but it's the control, but it's controller. The wow. Um, 
you do have a robot voice. Thank you. Uh, the problem is not the gel, but it's controller. The, I see you're already starting in on it, uh, Cloudy, and you haven't been here uh, even like two minutes. Uh, the gel has not taken on any new properties. The WoW simply uses it in ways that we would never even have dreamed of. Overwhelming evidence concludes that all deformed creatures, the fish, the sharks, and even the helpers were manipulated by the WoW via structure gel. They have in some manner been exposed to charged gel and in turn stricken by cancerous growths that affect their whole being. It's difficult to ask why when talking about an AI, but it all started shortly after the comet killed the surface. I can't for sure say if it's bad code or a carefully programmed mercy killing, but it looks like it's not going to make things easier for us to survive. Cool. Anyway, here's Wonderwall. Uh... Control chip malfunction. What's this? Oh, sweet. It's got like a little fucking like camera or some shit on its head. What the fuck? What? The, the rat? The rat with like the, the camera that the gel like implanted on its head? Yeah, it's a rat. What of it? Oh, lighting bad. It's another rat, uh, which you can barely tell it. That's just a... I don't know. Um... That's just structure gel. Interesting. Curious. Oh, uh. Guess I can't do anything with that. God damn it, every time. Oh, but I can use this. <laughs> oh, yes. Slammed your laptop closed for what reason? And what's my biggest fear? If I'm being honest, it used to be like dying alone, like unironically. And, um. Okay, but why would it. I'm. I. Why would that be like a bad, bad thing for someone else to see what's on your computer screen? It's not like I'm showing you guys. Um, nude people or something. Right, so there's one piece. Um, but like now, ooh, do we want to see what happens to the rat? I want to see what happens to the rat. Oh, I can imagine. I can imagine. We're going to see what happens to the rat.
Um, but now? I don't know. Um, oh, it's just kind of like twitching and shit. The fuck? It came back to life. Something like it. All right. Cool. Uh, okay. I'm trying to, like, think of how to answer that question while trying to solve puzzles and figure out the shit I need to move on from this place so I don't spend 50 minutes going in a, a circle like I did my last stream. Um. Now, I would say, it would just be, like, dying in general would, would be my biggest fear. You know, like, I, I have, like, a lot of cop-out answers. I bet it is, dude. Um, again, I know that's, like, a cop-out answer or whatever. Hydroponics. Oh, shit, that's right, the counter. Hold on. Thank you for reminding me. Um, but yeah, I, like, just don't want to die, dude. I have a certain belief about what's waiting for me beyond death, and I'm not excited to get there. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I'd rather keep living. Living is pretty cool and stuff. Also, uh, does, does the stream appear to, like, be lagging at all, or is it pretty smooth? Oh, shit. I think I think that's me. Hold on. I think that's me. All right. I guess we'll see. Let us see what's in the dining. Oh god. More exploded heads. Who'd have thought? What what were you what were you working on, man? I'm like trying to jump on top of a body whose head is exploded. I know I can't garner anything from him. The black box exploded in his dome piece. Right, so I guess I don't have access to that. Can I like pull the chair away? No. Cannot move the dead body. Um, but I am like recording in a different format than I'm streaming the game in, so I don't know if that's like kind of fucking with my computer a little bit. I guess we'll see. Oh. I don't like that's that breathing. Well, that is like a person air quotes over there. No, yeah, I remember her, dude.
I remember her. I've played this game before. Also, hello, new viewer. How are you doing tonight? Probably not about to pee your pants like I am. Need to get over there. Oh, you know. Just, uh, just playing a horror game. Hoping, uh, screamy demon lady doesn't kill me. Hey, just go over there. Just go over there. Just go over there. I would love it if she would move now. does not give a fuck. She's not moving. She's not moving. She's waiting for the counter to go up. She's not moving. Like, I can't be scared by... I can't be scared by it if she's not reacting to any of what I'm doing. At this point, I'm just trying to move this stuff so I can get to that board. What if I literally throw shit at her? Now she cares. Now she cares. I may have no choice but to heal myself. Because now I like, I cannot move. I am so damaged. Now I have to go put my hand in a sucky suck. Also, that counter is not going up. Literally, there's the dining hall. Do not have a choice now. Right. Give me that good shit, wow. I've played this game once before, but it's been a while. So, um... I don't remember exactly how I got through these areas.
So I have to purposely lure her away, is what you're saying. Wrong way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come this way. No, 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 no. Not that way. <laughs> not that way. Counter's not going up. I didn't really, I didn't really scare me per se. Fuck. Casually laying everywhere. Well, he's not really dead per se. That one isn't. Alright, we got it. We got it. We got it. We got it. Go back that way. I'm just fucking running. She's not really gonna follow me that far. Boys in the well. Oh, that doesn't sound very nice. Um, okay. Wait, isn't the stairwell well, floor two? South hall floor two. Yes, there it is. Okay. Got to Give me a second with these things. Now for the cortex chip, because I already have the uh, the sample. Yeah, yeah, shut up. Yeah, it's on the first floor, I figure. I figured. Oh, 
Да и все. И все, world floor one. Don't I have to like? What is that I'm, I'm thinking of? I have to rescind the lockdown. I haven't done that yet. Ah, uh, yeah, that's right. I remember this fucking puzzle. This thing irritated the shit out of me. No, I don't remember. Having fun, dude. You're having fun. Sounds like you're in severe pain. <laughs> Jesus Christ. There's some pattern here, and there's a fucking clue to it. Somewhere. I'll find it. Oh, hello. Oh my god. <laughs> Strasky, are you there? I hear you, Herbie. What's up? Uh, just wanted to check in. I have to go do something. Some more school I stories. I for a few days, okay? Really, her leaving the listening post? Must be important. We'll listen to these first, hey, and then I'll get to that, Cloudy. Also, I need a drink. Hey. Because you know what I'm doing as you tell me. Having my water. Omicron, can you hear us? Loud and clear. Everyone alright? You will be as soon as we make friends with the power suits. I'm sure you'll get used to it. No man, I'm I'm straight edge. I don't do any kind of shit. Thought I already said that before though. Anyway. Nope, not doing it. Uh, okay, so funny school stories? I don't know, all, all of my like really funny ones that I can remember. Shut up. Oh god, I'm I'm so stupid. It literally All right, never mind. I know what's going on. Shut up. It's not that bad. It's like right in front of my face. God, I'm stupid.
Or I'm just stupid. I remember... Th uh, well, okay, so I will say this. I think it's the constant sense of tension and not knowing if something is going to, like, happen. I'll follow you there. Now we're good. Maybe we're not. Shut the door, Cap. Lock it up. What's happening? Lock the door. It's locked. What's going on? <laughs> nope, run. Good. <laughs> I managed to piss off another one of WoW's monsters. We have everything we need, right? I yeah. forgot. I forgot it's she was working. there waiting. Forgot that part. This is crazy. Don't worry, it'll work. Make sure it's all bunched together with the structure gel connecting all the parts. All right, try activating the seat from the terminal again. Weren't we all? Oh, so it does look good. That's nice. I was very concerned about that. I've been troubleshooting the shit out of things for the past two days and I haven't been streaming. I can't believe we're doing this. It will be fine. Then why don't we put you in the suit? I was gonna suggest that if you refused. You'd go without me. I need to do this, Simon. This is important. I need to launch the Ark. You'd really do it, change body. Yes, if you want to stay here, I'm not going to stand in your way. I don't want to tell you what to do. What would it be like before? Close my eyes and then... And then open them again. All right, let's do it. Thank you, Simon. Go sit in the pilot seat in the next room. Ooh, Friends yeah, I can't wait for the little mind fuck that happens here. And that is... Okay, wait, no, I'm not going to spoil things. Don't, don't worry about it. Ignore what I said. Ignore what I said. Uh, if either of you even give much of a when fuck, Claudia, Lexi. Manifested by your current cortex chip, run it through the amplifier, oh, this feed it into the new thing. chip, and then make sure it's synced. You lost me halfway there. You don't really need to understand it. Just make them line up. No, they need to ignore what I said. Like, I'm almost... No, it's stretched out a bit more. Bring the offset back. Shit. Forward, there we go. That's everything. You can climb into the pilot seat now. Already? I have everything under control, so please, have a seat. Sorry about any discomfort. This should be over soon. It's like having your picture taken. But with the most expensive yeah, see, Arslan, no, you'll notice that, um... Steal their souls. In this case, they'd be right. These, uh, these other two here are just kind of here to boost my numbers because they feel bad for me. They're like, oh, this guy is boring as hell. What was that? No, I, it's just... Why was it still talking? It's the same like before. Catherine, why was he still talking? That's how it works, you know that. What do you mean? You know it's not magic. You were copied. The sleeping Simon in the seat was copied, and now you are here, just like Simon lived on in Toronto. God damn you, Kath. Two Simons? There can't <laughs> he be is two boring. Simons. I'm with what you on this. That you were going to take my mind and put it into another body, like a brain transplant. I'm sorry, it wouldn't work that way. You realize how messed up this is? Please, I didn't mean to upset you. How did you expect me to react to this shit? Please stop. You're fucking disgusting. What's gonna happen to him? 
He'll sleep for a while, a few days. And then what? Wake up in this fucking nightmare again? All alone? Oh, so cruel. Cool. Can oh, we keep we them? Him? Make friends? Let him know that we have to leave him behind when we go into the abyss? What if... What if he didn't need to wake up? You do that? I don't know. Maybe. It's fucking disgusting! I set it up for you. It's fucking this disgusting! Battery, he'll die within a minute. Yeah, I do know how it I'm ends, but like, I'm, I'm trying not to spoil it for these other two. Whatever you do, my man. I don't know, man. It's <laughs> it's a really tough decision. See, it's funny because I don't care if you do or don't. That sounded rude. I'm sorry. <laughs> What, I mean, if you're not really interested in the story, that's fine. I This game was fascinating. Done one of the ways. Wait, what the fuck are you talking about, dude? I only know of one way, and that's to kill him. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> now I don't want to leave! L okay, let me ask this. Is it at least something that I can still do while I'm in this room? That isn't, you know, obviously unplugging him. <laughs> I'm fucker, how did you know? Also, we want to talk about me being bored. <laughs> If we want to talk about me being boring, uh, I, I watched, I tried to watch a, um, fuck. Well, I mean, yes, it's a copy of me, sure. A copy of Simon, but like, I don't know. Given I know what the ending is, it's it kind of feels worse leaving him here. And kind of like majorly fucked. <laughs> Uh, but I tried watching a... The fuck is his name? Really, it feels like mercy to you leaving him there? I, I don't know that it would feel like mercy to me leaving someone in this for like... Effectively eternity, or at least, yeah, for like eternity. It just feels fucked. Fine. 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 I did it earlier. I did it earlier and I... Because he could come after me, I get it. Well, not... Uh, come after me is not the right word. He could know it's me and come to assist. Find a way. Because it's Simon. Like you said, it's Simon. He'll find a way, even without a power suit. Um, but I watched uh, some big YouTuber. I watched some big YouTuber. Of never finishing sentences. I watched some big YouTuber playing Doom Eternal, and he was um, he was you know, he wasn't being that entertaining. He wasn't saying a whole lot while he was playing the game. I mean, again, that could be because he's not on camera. It was a, you know, pre-recorded thing. I could just fall into the abyss right now. Um. 
No, I do remember the turn. I just remember the first time I played this game, I was like, can I jump into the abyss? And I did, and I died, and it was funny. Um, no, I did. The first time I did. But, uh, yeah, big YouTuber. Three and a half million views on the video. The guy was boring as shit to watch. Jump in there today? <laughs> I mean, it's fun. It's one of the things, like, you gotta try it. You should have been here earlier. I glitched, I glitched the, uh, the Zeppelin ride. And managed to, like, get on top of the box and glitch out of the Zeppelin before I arrived at the destination. It was funny as hell. Yeah. Activate the Clara, please. Sure thing. One passenger, descend, and then we do the bit. Take a seat and we'll be off. And then intentionally trying to glitch it again. <laughs> I, yeah, yeah, I was. Ooh, guys, get ready. Get ready, this is going to be a fun thing that's about to happen. You guys better be watching. Lexi, Cloudy, I'm looking at you. You didn't hit the make sure Simon wakes up in the right body switch, did you? Watch you Lexi and Cloudy. Me, he would still claim to be the right Simon. Christ. This is awful. We did an awful fucking thing. And you wouldn't mind? Why would you? How could you know that it's not me, the me that I am, the same that I've always been? Let me say something. I don't want to think. Please. I don't know what to say. I don't want to upset you. Say anything. When I was little, I used to climb the stairs all the way to the top of the building. And I could still feel how I had to, you know, tuck my arm so I could push the heavy steel door open. Well, the first time that I dared go up there, I stepped out onto the roof and watched the smog rise and fall over Taipei. I got all the way up to the corner ledge and, you know, I felt the warm wind in my hair, and the sun was setting, and the streets below were shadowed by the tall buildings. The people pushing through the crowd flowed like paint from an artist brush. Street food vendors filled the air with aromas of all my favorite foods. For a brief moment, I felt connected to the world in a way that I never had before. It was the most profound feeling of comfort and sense of belonging I could ever hope for. I really never felt the same way again, but I went up to the roof many times after. I'm not religious, but I can see why people would be. The privilege of being makes a strong case, at least every once in a while. Do you still feel that sense of awe? Even like this? Things are different, but we're still here. What's the point of going on? Everyone's gone. All the people still left are digital copies trapped in computers at the bottom of the sea. We'll never be able to rebuild or reclaim what we were. Are you really so unhappy being what you are, or is this about the man who went for a scan a hundred years ago? Both, I guess. When I was back in Toronto, even the worst case, the darkest futures I could predict, they at least included my previous life somehow. I feel so uprooted. There's nothing here that I recognize, nothing that makes me feel like I belong. And even if we make it to the Ark, would it be any different? still be alone. No friends. No family. You could make new friends. I'm sure everyone would like to know the time traveler. If not, you still have... Watch. Catherine? Lexi, Cloudy, watch. Hello, Catherine. What happened? Hey, I 
know it's not much, but why have we stopped moving? The power blacked out for a moment. I think it could be the atmospheric pressure. It's pushing pretty hard, really testing the limits of my suit. Don't worry. It should hold. Comforting. It will hold. Does... Does time freeze when you're not powered? Time feels committed more than anything. What's the difference? I don't feel like I'm being held back or hindered. And I don't have the opportunity to reflect on the time I'm missing. It's simply missing. Sounds like sleeping without the dreaming. Yes. But generally you anticipate when you're about to sleep, and there's a natural continuation since we tend to wake up. Continue where we watching. Sleep. My experience is more like an ever-changing moment that never really seems to find closure. Sounds kind of like a movie being edited live. I suppose so. I guess it sounds exciting, but it really keeps me activated to the point of exhaustion. It's <sighs> rough. Could be worse. Could be a time traveler stuck in a body made from black goo. That'd be the worst. That was Ross, our best friend in the entire deep sea. Yes, Ross from oh, Friends. Good, you're back. <laughs> what happened? Something dropped onto the cage, knocked you right out. Spoke to me. Looks like a man, one of WoW's creatures. It just stared at you for a moment, then threw itself down the abyss. It said it would make preparations. Like the sound of Get a lot of this guy! I've never friends, actually seen friends, please don't. Yeah, me too. Looks like we're closing in on the ocean floor. Good, not sure the climber could take it much longer. Arslan, okay, you so can try to explain this to them, pressure. they don't care. This story means nothing to them. They are not philosophers like us. I know, right? It's such a good fucking game with an amazing premise. And they just don't give a fuck. Don't remind me, freaks me out. No, you don't, Cloudy. You don't give a fuck. I know you don't. Ah, uh, yeah! Time for the abyss! Best part of this game. Not really, this part sucks ass. You attempt to pay attention. Well, okay. Well, it's bad in that it takes a while. Stands it. Alright, you can try, Arslan. And in vain, you can try. Um, it's, um... It's bad in that it takes a while. And the rules of, like, avoiding the monster down here are... They kind of... Yeah, it just... It draws the game out more than I feel like it needs to. It's not fun to play, let's put it that way. Kinda grueling. Oh, <laughs> cool. Jesus, did you see that? Stick to the lamplights, they won't go near them. I can't, Valglasser. It's important I reach Omicron. Our future depends on it. Calm down. Let's just follow the path. If I die, I need you to tell Julia Dahl that the WoW is out of control. 
She needs to get to Sarang. He'll know what to do. Raj, you can tell them yourself. We just need to pick up the pace, okay? Glass! We lost the path! We need to go back! I know where to go. Come on! It's over there! The light is over there! Final push, Ross. Almost there, we just... <laughs> Haha, <laughs> very cool. So Glass is dead. Ross Ross uh in that audio file was the was the guy that was uh that like dropped onto the dealio there and tried to um and, and was like I will go and make preparations. He really needs to reach the arc and you will see what you will see why. Hey there, man. How's it going? Fuck. Yeah, I, I know. Why? Did you saw me stand next to the light, right? I'm just running from each uh, one or the other. Yeah, you tell him, Arslan. You fucking tell him. That's why I fucking played this game, because she likes horror shit. And I was like, well, this is a, a game with horror shit that has an incredible, like, a very interesting premise. But nope, just doesn't listen the whole time. I even read this shit. <laughs> I even read this shit for them. Like, all of that stuff, I've been reading it for them. Rare shark approached the luminous lure, circled around to eat the dried squid. Unlikely that it frequents this depth, an anomaly. Mantle the size of a man, 170 to 200 centimeters. Word of context for my friend. Oh yeah, <laughs> because she hasn't, she hasn't been here <laughs> for this this whole thing. So I'm like bringing up parts of. The stream that she's not been here for, she's like, this guy sounds like a dick. <laughs> Why do you watch him? He just makes you feel bad about yourself. Very, like, attention hoary. Uh, frantic attack tore the marlin apart. As soon as we turned on the lights, it quickly fled the area. Clearly another specimen affected by the leaking structure gel. <laughs> Partially covered in scales, a newly formed bone structure protruding through the mantle. I'm not seeing any kappas when you're saying this, Arslan. Um. Nice. <laughs> the creature disfigured by the gel are manic and will attack anything. <laughs> Still hard to determine how Wow was affect uh, how Wow has affected their behavior beyond their apparent aggression and affinity with light. The creatures seem to hunt something particular, something not present in this ecosystem. Oh shit. My bait tanks. Alcalation size. Huh, interesting. <laughs> Unable to load data. Oh, yeah. What it did to the anglerfish is very fun. In other words, I have to go towards the correct, uh, correct light. Okay, alright, we're doing good, doing good, we're fine, just stick to the lights, 
Let's just stick to the lights and we'll be okay. How is there lightning at the uh, bottom of the ocean? Never mind. Oh, cool. Blue leads to Tau. Red leads to the Climber. Fuck, I went backwards. <laughs> God, I'm stupid. Sea lions? I don't fucking know. Um, because I didn't read the sign, okay? When I started, when I started going, I did not read the sign. I should have read the fucking sign. Blue leads to Tau, red is to the climber. Fuck. Um. Shit. God damn it. Oh, fuck me. Fuck me, fuck me, fuck me, fuck me. Fuck me, fuck me, fuck me. Go, 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 go. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, oh, I remember the guide robot. Yeah, yeah. That's not yet. I had to kind of take like a leap of faith out there. <laughs> Yeah, it's not till later. Hey, you don't really spoil anything. I remember that part of this. Shh. Shush, shush, shush. They're not, they're not. This is very out of context for her. Um, I mean, she's not. Ah, fuck. Oh, you fucking assholes. We're going. Cocks. Dicks. Well, no, because I haven't really been scared yet. Shut up. Fuck. Ah. Fucking shit. God, now I'm gonna have to take some of the wow juice. Or, no, I think I might be okay. I think I might be okay. I already did, you missed it. I had to use it once, Cloudy. Tau, can you hear this? Against my there? better judgment. And no, the counter is, oh, I already said that, Never mind. This is Tau, who is this? This is Ian Peterson of Theta calling. I got a team with me and we're about half a kilometer from Tau. What? How, how did... You came in the climber? Listen, we're having a really hard time with this sector. Heavy turbulence is making it difficult to move forward, and the wildlife you got is absolutely rabid. The storm comes and goes. Instruments show the weather is relatively fair right now. You should move out as soon as possible. Stick to the lights. The critters should leave you alone. All right, you heard the man. We're moving out, people. Tom, keep the doors unlocked. We're coming in. Hey, buddy. You're my salvation. All 
right, let's go. Our <laughs> been broke. Fuck. Uh, fuck. Don't let your lights go out, dude. I swear to God. Nope. Nope. Nuh uh. No. Nah. Nope, I'm not gonna watch. I'm not gonna watch it for them. Not yet. Very cool. Okay, time to follow the lights. Very tiny lights. Oh god, I forgot about this. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, fuck me. Oh god. Okay, so I have like extreme arachnophobia. So I feel like there are things crawling on me right now. So, th okay, this is cool. Straight? What? Fuck. I was doing it right. Fuck. Okay, okay, okay. Cuz you got to follow the you got to follow the the glow sticks, yeah? That's what I was Oh man, ah, oh, fuck. Why do they have to be so big at the bottom of the ocean? How did fucking spiders end up at the bottom of the ocean anyway? Yeah, I know, I know. Light, please. Nope, nope, wrong light! Wrong light! Wrong light! Wrong light! <laughs> Running away! <laughs> Fucking anglerfish, dude. Man, you can't even. It's today. Yeah, I bet. Fuck. That's why I gotta read the thing about the anglerfish. Okay, that, okay, okay, we're good, we're good, we're still following blue. Fuck. I'm surprised there are other people playing this game right now and streaming it. That makes me kind of happy. This game deserves to be streamed. Okay. Okay. Hey there, Tao. How's it going? How's it going? Let me in, let me in! Fuck. I'm guessing then, Arslan, you're a fan of like all the other uh, frictional games, games, like uh, Penumbra and then obviously Amnesia. Ha. <sighs> okay. Just this one, but you haven't watched the others. Cause I never, I never played Penum the Penumbra series, I just watched it. I think I tried playing the first Penumbra game and I was like, nope, can't do this, it's janky as hell. Oh fuck. Had to load the next area. Oh, you should, dude. 
Penumbra is really good. It's kind of actually Penumbra is very similar to. Let's find the arc. Okay, yeah. Um. Yeah, Penumbra is really good. It's very similar to this game actually. Why does it not feel like that? Oh god, that's right, yeah. Oh, I'm kind of slightly remembering the monster in this area, but not quite. I kind of remember them, not fully. I just remember they can be very annoying when trying to get past this area. Back off. I don't I don't trust this. Can't Ross just like kill them for me or something? I mean like he pretty much is wow, yeah? He's like fighting from inside wow. Yep, there he is. Okay. I can't remember. Does this one have the ability to see? Or is he just sensitive to the light like the others are? Bored out of my mind. <laughs> What, would she... He can see, yeah, okay. Um, well, I don't know. Would your friend... Um, would your... Oh, fuck. Would your... Aren't there two of them in this area? Oh, God. I'm gonna... Oh, God. gonna keep moving okay so you're saying okay he's coming back that way yeah but won't I need to come back down here at some point isn't Pretty sure I remember something about having to go back down there. Really? I, I for some reason I remember that section taking me like 15 trillion years before when I first played the game. I didn't even remember I was supposed to go that way. I just like went in the direction that felt right. Would your friend be be happier if I like or be more entertained if I played like COD or something? I don't know. It's the stress, man, when you're like when it's right there and you know something is chasing you. Move on, Simon. Move on, Simon. Alright, I'm gonna explore a little bit here because lore. 
Oh, cool. Hey, guys. Hey, Ross. <laughs> I like to play games. We have to leave. In a moment, Ross. Can't we do anything for him? No. We're out of sedatives. If we had a gun, this would be the time to pull it out. I like to play games that have, like, deep stories and stuff. Like this. <laughs> Should have jumped the climber Maybe your friend just doesn't like watching streams. I don't know. Forget about the Ark. No, you don't get to say that. It's the only thing left of value. You know that. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Promise you won't leave That's why you've loved this one, Cloudy, and haven't well, been paying attention. Okay. Then what? Well, better keep it safe until then. Okay, Arslan, how are you in my chat? And then Alexi and Cloudy are in my chat, but it says I only have two viewers. How does that work? Are you, like, popping in and out or something? Is someone else popping in and out? Just let it out. Let it all out. My attention span is too short. Okay, I see. Because my attention span is too short. I mean, that's fair. Honestly, I, I don't watch streams. Oh, okay. Sorry. Sorry. Um... I don't watch other streamers. I I just play games, and then there's like one guy I watch, and that's it. My whole life, I've been a good man. We messed up, Sarah. There, there. Apparently, I have like 50 views on the on uh, my Minecraft one. Give him a chance. There's time. If Ashkin says we could try but again. Even the one guy I watch on Twitch, I will play games while his stream is in the background because I can't like I can't focus and enjoy it. Sometimes he plays something that catches my attention, but for the most part he's just kind of like background noise. So I I get it. I get it. it's fine. It's fine. I have three viewers. I can't complain about who's here doing what. So, Arslan, it's safe to say you probably won't be back for other streams of other games I do then. You're just here for Soma. It's like, uh, it's like... There's nothing here. There's nothing here. Um... It's just like, um... The, the one person that, like, tuned in because I was watching, um... Okay, that's fair. Um, the person who tuned in while I was watching Half-Life, and they, like, they followed for Half-Life content, and then I not, I don't intend to play more Half-Life. <laughs> yeah, Jesse. Whose name is literally, uh, Jesse from City 17. Okay, thanks, man. I appreciate it. I see that. Thank you. 21 minutes ago, I literally... I literally could have just looked at my mini alerts. <laughs> oh, it's... Well, it's Jesse Castle 186, but... Like, when I looked at my Twitch, it was... Jesse from City 17. They want more, uh, more, okay, I'm not doing this anymore. Um, they are, they are cool. Uh, Cloudy can be a dick sometimes, but, you know, it's fine. Burmary is unmanned. Oh, shit, that's right, I have to find the code for Ross's little area. Operational.
Oh, I'm glad I like my stream could help you like remember your friend and to like reach out to them. I like that. That's good. That's the kind of stuff I want to do with my stream. Oh God. What's that? Oh. I want to see Ross's shit. Squid Pinot's repair paste. We have to stop it. We have to stop it. No, we don't. No, we don't, Ross. No, we don't. This did not leave me undelivered. I, I'm like half serious about doing that podcast that we talked about, uh, Cloudy. Half serious. Not totally serious. Do I need to go down to the... No. Do I need to go up to the... Thanks, man. I appreciate that. If I actually had shit to talk about... You. Oh, fuck! Different. I forgot she's here! Go ahead. Make yourself at home. Oh my god, I forgot she's here. Holy shit, I forgot all what about this. What are you looking for? What are you human? Sarah Lindois. Payload technician at your service. A rare sight, am I right? I'd say so. You're the first normal living human I've seen. There's not many left down here. Most of them are up on the plateau. You mean at Omicron? Yeah. There's well, no alive at Omicron. No, they're all dead. You've been there? I've been all over. The power plant at Upsilon. The ruins of Lambda. The abandoned Delta, Theta. You've been to Theta? There's not a lot left of Pathos too. And uh, I'm the only living <laughs> that's person that's <laughs> My problem I'm the last is living human on the planet. My problem is, Who are you I have again? shit to I have Simon shit to Jay. talk about, but I can't. I'm really no bad way. at multitasking. I, I used to work in a bookshop in Toronto. So like maybe a podcast is the better fit for then me. What the hell are you doing here? I'm trying to find the Ark. Why would you? How do you know about that? I've heard it's the last hope for mankind. I have to like focus on having now, a conversation with, with people. It? Take it to the gun at five. Launch it into space. Because you know social interaction is is difficult that was for me. The plan, all right. It requires my full attention. Brought it back to Tau. I just couldn't bring myself to let go. To tell you the truth. With the Italian Tony. Strength to argue. And I certainly don't have the time to wait for the next sentient thing shuffling through here. I don't fucking know, man. <laughs> I, I have like apparently. Thank you. Get you anything? Do anything for you? Hold on. You could kill me. Good one. Um. I'm glad you came by. Good to get this over with. Um. But anyway, is she like that flashlight edge shining I in her face all the time? I'm the last one. That's crazy. It, it's different. I don't know. Uh, it's. It's if difficult come, for me. Clean this place up a little bit. I don't really know how to explain it, man. I don't know how to explain my brain works. I've literally taken a test, and I have. Uh, I literally have um, like medium signs of autism. So, <laughs> like that's probably part of it. Okay, I don't want any of this. Thank you, Ross. 
Thanks for doing that for me. <coughs> I don't know, because, <laughs> because I am. Social anxiety and, like, you know, a couple of other things that are pretty bad about me. Oh, Catherine's all fuzzed out. I don't know, I kind of want to pull the plug on her just because I don't want to sit here and read this stuff while she's like coughing and breathing in the background. That sounds really psychotic. <laughs> I don't want to hear this person breathing anymore. Oh, this game is changing me. Um, a thorough look at what common chemicals... I'm so used to there not being people around. I'm like, now there's a person here and I just want to kill them. <laughs> just so they stop annoying me. <laughs> Computer Catherine is so much easier. Like, if I, if I don't like what she's saying, I can just unplug her and just be like, Shut up! A manual on how to keep unconscious or co uh, comatose colleagues fed through intravenous drip. By Sarah Linwall. Methods on how to make room for additional payload after the casing has been constructed and left in Delta. Alright, very cool. Please don't leave me like this. No. D no. Okay. Can I? I'll, I'll be back. I'll be back. I'll decide what to do with you later. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm very stupid. Lexi just growled at you. See you later. I'm back. Fuck. Okay, hey, why am I? Compact freight lift. Got it. Got it. Got it. Shut the fuck up. Um. No, wait, not. Not to the dive room, right? No, we'll bring it to the common room. Are you serious about me killing you? No. I'd love to hang around here until I dry up to the size of a ring. Oh, there you go, Arzan. Simon, this fucking sucks. <coughs> I don't want to live like this. Shouldn't we be doing something to keep you alive? Why? You're the last human. I, I just find it disrespectful to our entire history not to fight this. Sure, we have the Ark, but you're the real deal. Thanks. That's probably the best compliment I've ever got. But the truth is that the Ark is all we have. We'll have to accept second best, you know? None of this feels right. Son, I want to die. Sarah. Just think about it. Good luck, Simon. I don't know. Um, should we? Should we? I don't think we should. I kind of agree with Arslan. She was supposed to have completed the mission already. Like, we had to come all the way here just because she couldn't, you know, nut up and shut up and put that thing in a space. I think we should deny her her last wish. I, I'm saying leave her. I'm leaving her. Here you need anything. Nah, bye. Bye-bye. Not doing that anymore. You have fun up there. Hee-hee. <laughs> now let's see what's in Ross's room. Ha-ha. Stop. 
It won't stop. No, Arslan said to uh, said to leave her. Right? Or did I did I not read that correctly? I was hoping to see Omicron today. The evacuation ordered by the people at Theta was a gift. An excuse to leave Alpha and abandon the WoW. As the storm cleared, we were swarmed by monsters that the WoW had facilitated. We were ambushed and forced back towards Tau. Blaster, Kolsky, Set Z, and I survived. Claire's in the infirmary, but it doesn't look good. You're not dumb, Lexi, it's fine. Setsi made a run for it, to check observation for anything resembling food. Going outside is beyond dangerous. It's like going to buy cigarettes in a hurricane. She came back and she had some crumbs with her. We all knew it was empty. I think she just wanted a chance to die without carrying the responsibility of taking it herself. People from the plateau showed up. There's a group of engineers from Theta. Telling us that they wanted to use the Omega Space Gun to launch something called the Ark. It's an artificial world that carries brain scans made from people working at Pathos 2. The idea is silly, but endearing. We all agreed to do a scan so we could take part in this afterlife. Some of the engineers returned from Phi. Apparently they postponed the Ark launch. They were all in a very foul mood, difficult to get any straight answers from. Except for one very important thing. They all wished to remain at Tower to figure this Ark business out, but they had scheduled for the Climber to pick them up tomorrow. Someone would need to catch that Climber to alert Omicron to what was happening. Luckily, Glazer and I were able to take on this mission. I will finally get to warn Dahl and Sarang about the critical situation at Site Alpha. Sarang is dead, dude. Um... The pattern has stopped evolving. The WoW has managed to find balance. I convinced SSE Volchek to turn off all external control systems, making the WoW our de facto caretaker. So far, it's exceeding expectations. Since the comet crashed a few days ago, January 12th, the WoW has dropped to a low energy state. It hasn't abandoned its duties. It's keeping climate and life support going, but it's been simplifying the pattern, redefining its protocol. The WoW has started to grow physically. It's not just the core chamber. All around Pathos 2, structure gel is bursting through the pipes and bleeding through walls. I don't know what WoW could possibly stand to gain from this, but I assume it is intentional. The heart of WoW has claimed such a large part of the core chamber that there can no longer be any question to its heightened awareness. Not only does its expansion suggest an unexpected understanding of space, but also its own physical manifestation within the world. The WoW is reaching out to every machine, every life form, to manipulate, to control. It's trying to help save its creators from all this, just like the protocol demands. But really, what is good enough? Where is the line drawn for what is human and what is not? Would walking corpses do? Would a group of machines thinking they're human be acceptable? We can't trust a machine to know, to understand what it means to be. We have to terminate the WoW project. It can be done. I just need to get some help from Omicron. What Ross really wants us to do... To stop WoW put an end to this madness um god I was gonna say something but I was like also listening to that oh yeah I forgot like you have to disconnect the wow stuff it's very interesting that's sight to alpha Um, 
Damn, if only we could get, like, two more people in here to just, like, talk about some shit. And then I would have one part of the, the milestone done that lets me... Um... God, I do have to go back down there. Fuck! That lets me grant, like, VIP status and shit. Though I have to get to 50 followers, and that's not gonna happen anytime soon. Um... But, you know... No, not for affiliate. God, no. Affiliate's, like, way out there. Okay. Then just never replies. It sounds... It sounds like me, uh, like, just saying anything or trying to say anything. Where the fuck... Oh. Uh, but where would I go with this? Dispatch, work area... Chicken, Cheetos, coffee! No, I'm stealing a Germa joke. Um... Okay. Am I okay? Am I, like... There. I need to get up there. No? Okay. Alright, we're going to the dive area. And just don't finish them for a good five minutes. Yeah, I know a thing or two about that. Fuck. that you you remember your train of thought cuz i never can i don't know i kind of really don't remember my train of thought more often than not i think it's because i look at chat and i see what some of you say and i'm like oh yeah that that's where i was Me no oh. Yeah, I think if you if if you didn't if you guys weren't saying shit in chat, I, I would definitely forget where I was. Like I said, the multitasking is not my thing. Why is that a common thing I see? I don't I don't understand. Of like people remembering saying something in their head and then not actually saying anything. Nah, I trust me. I I guess I I there are times when I get frustrated with people that I watch stream too. So like I I get it. It's fine. We are all we are all Flawed human beings. Some of us more flawed than others, like you guys. Uh, but anyway. It's okay. You'll, you'll grow out of it, you know? So I, I, I had to, I had to throw some shade back. And now the WoW is going to attempt to stop us.
You just straight up <laughs> insulted us. All about positive vibes on this stream. She hasn't changed a bit. Uh, she just hasn't had any extreme life trauma to, like, kind of force her into a situation where she needs to change. Not that I'm saying she should go through a specific life trauma to, like, make her change or anything, but... Fuck. Hurry! Yes, I know, but I need to I need to figure a way through here. Hey, asshole. <laughs> Let me ah, here it is. Got it. Yeah, this I love you, gorgeous. <laughs> and she's doing it to me too I'm sure if I like communicated with her outside on like a one to one basis where I could actually site alpha um I'm sure I would uh she would probably be nicer to me too when I could like devote attention to a conversation and such and not be boring as hell Even though some people would definitely still think I'm boring as hell because I like to talk about, you know, cool shit. Cool shit, like philosophy and stuff. Y you know? Why is there the stinger? Why the stinger game? I don't understand. Going forward. I don't really know where I'm going, but it's what we're doing. Just tell me what you want. Yes, that is true. That is very true, Lexi. I don't know that I want to do that, Ross. I don't know. Do it. I don't think I'm going to do that, Ross. Please, Simon. 
humanity will suffer for an eternity. I think they'll. I think. I think they'll be okay, si uh, Ross. If you don't fix this, I'll make, make you. See you, dude. All right, see you, Wow. Have fun, dude. We're chill now, right? You let me go to space? You let me go to space? Need a space. Need a space. Woo, space. Yeah, space. Yeah, I go to space. Space school. Yeah, go to space. Oh, hey there, man. How's it going? But you don't like the light, you dumb bitch. Follow the blue light. Follow the blue light. It's for an election, not a class. Well, an election? What, are you running for class president? I thought we were cool, wow. I thought we were fucking cool, dude. Fucking cool. Shut up. Fuck you. You don't like the light, bitch. God fucking damn it. For editor of a club I'm in, she's running for treasurer. What's a club? God damn it. Okay, so apparently I need the bigger lights to save me. Bigger lights are the savior. Fuck. I didn't ask what's a club, I asked what club. What's the club, not what's a club. I know what a club is. Oh yeah, you did say that was a pretty big thing to you. Fucking run to the light, 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 to the light. This it? This it? You are a real cock, sir. Real cock swine. I'm pretty sure I can't sustain another hit. Come on, to the light, 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 to the light. Nope, nope, god damn it. Q. 
kidding me. I can't even run that fast because I'm so heavily damaged. I think this might be where I actually die for the first time in this game, right when I'm up against the end. Because I can't fucking run. Don't get caught on the shit. Don't get caught on the shit. Fuck. Ugh. Can't touch me now, bitch. Fuck you. Fuck you. God damn. Okay. Alright. That is that done. Okay, the end of this game is right around the corner. Just so you both know. We are almost done with this. We don't have to slog anymore, don't worry. Because I know you both find this game massively interesting and entertaining. It's like your favorite part of the day. It's like, oh, Phantom is streaming. Gotta go watch that. Been waiting all day. Go talk to this guy who bores the shit out of me. Never responds to my questions because he's autistic and can't multitask. Especially when it comes to social situations. This has to be five, right? Hope the Ark made it here in one piece. Fuck. I gotta find some sort of control module somewhere. Oh! Catherine, can you hear me? I hear you. I also this have two fine. bottles of water We're in my system, town. and I really on, need to actually. take a piss, but I'm like We're really close there. to the end. Did you find the Ark? I did, but I kind of lost it on my way here on an automated tram thing headed to Fi, so it should be around somewhere. That's great. Let's go get it. Can I talk to her? I want to. I want to talk to her. I'm like on death's door right, right now. Fi is up and running. Can we talk? No? Okay. God damn. There's a creature here too. Fuck. Thought I was done with that. A satellite is loaded into a shell. The shell is accelerated by electromagnets along the barrel. Enough momentum to escape Earth's gravity is gained before aggression. Reaching space, the satellite will shed the shell and unfold. Onboard thrusters settle the satellite into an orbit. Contents arc requires manual offload. Yeah, no kidding. Didn't it? Was, there's a black box over there, so that means there is a thing over there. Not a person, a thing. <laughs> yeah, because they died. Unsigned R. Herber visit. Yep. Very cool. They're going to be a creature and Did shit. Did you find out what happened to the Ark team? Not really. For some reason, they didn't go through with the launch, so they took the Ark back to town. I hope everything's okay with the space gun. Yeah, I doubt I'll be able to repair one of those.
I'm actually shocked I haven't died at all in this game. <laughs> I think the first time I played, I died like three times, and I think two of them were to Scary Magnetism Man in the ship. This feels like the longest day of my life. Has it just been one day? I have no idea. Our time together is a confusing patchwork of moments today. What time is it then? What day? It's May 11th, 2104. 3.30 a.m., but I don't remember when we started. I think I found the assembly space. What do you see? It's like a huge open shell, a bullet ready to be loaded. That's great. All prepared for the arc. Right. I'll go pick it up. Are you suggesting we keep it down here? Doesn't that defeat the whole purpose? Eternity among the stars, remember? The people inside the Ark won't know the difference. We can just keep it down here, and we don't have to risk the Ark being shot through 5,000 meters of broken barrel, and then push through another 100,000 meters of a dust-filled atmosphere. Will the casing stand all that pressure? Well, the odds aren't great. Catherine, say something. I don't care what you think. I'm launching it. No need to be like that. Let's just hang on to it for a while and think about it. We can launch it later. No, that wasn't the deal. We needed to save them, to launch it. Out there, it's hope. Down here, it's a fucking terrarium waiting to die with the rest of us. Come on, Catherine. It's not asking much. Let's just think about it before we risk the only hope humanity has to survive this hell. No, we launch it today. This is my project, my arc. It's bigger than that. Don't you get it? It's not for you to decide. We're talking about the fate of mankind. Get away from the arc. I'm taking it. No, you're not. I'm not gonna let you ruin this. Stop it! Guys, calm down! Get away from me! No! What the fuck did you do? It was an accident. Catherine, talk to me. Catherine... Oh, God. Catherine. Did you say something? It's you. You had an accident. What are you... Oh. You mean Catherine. Don't worry, it's better this way. Well, damn. You got into a fight with your colleagues. They didn't want to risk launching the Ark. Thought it might not make it through the atmosphere. They killed me? I'm sure it was an accident. They were just trying to stop you from launching. How could they kill me? Catherine. I know I'm not an easy person to like. I just thought they trusted me. Come on, don't do this to yourself. You know what I realized? Okay, so I didn't kill the WoW in the original in my first playthrough either. Um, so I feel like I probably should have Did done you have it friends here. In Toronto, Simon? Real friends? There was some. Jesse, Sean, Kevin. I always wanted a friend. Like a real one, someone you'd never hold back with. I'll be your friend. Oh, pity friendship? Now I feel even worse. Um, Do you think the arc will make it look at me not continuing my sentence. It almost uh. doesn't matter anymore, we just need to try. If we burn, we burn. If we're lucky, we just gave humanity a new chance, a whole new era. With the Ark on Earth, maybe we have a few decades of power to keep it running. In space, we have thousands of years. Still, one hell of a gamble, though. This was never about certainty. It's about hope. Okay, that's in there. Go back and get the battery. We're almost there. We're, we're like, we're almost there. This game is almost over. It's like it's right there. The end is in sight. Oh, whoops. 
You know, I woke up in my bed today. It just happens to have happened a hundred years ago. Sounds like a riddle. It does. I woke up in my bed today, a hundred years ago. <laughs> Who am I? Who am I? Who is Simon? Is he even the same person? Is that it? I'm really not that familiar with guns of any size. Oh, here we go. All systems say go. Lock and load. Come back up and we'll add to the gun. It's crazy to think where I am. Not only is this the future, it's in the middle of the sea. I know nothing of this time or what the world looks like. Not much to brag about now. Before the comet, I guess it was okay. But yeah, better not oversell it. Might change my mind about the Ark. Fuck. <laughs> God. There, it's literally right in front of me. So is Cloudy. <laughs> Go off on Cloudy. Just unload on her. She deserves it. What will you do when you get into the Ark? What's the first thing? Make sure the Ark is safe. Stabilized flight path. Now what? Now we just need to get the shell under the gun and then... Oh! Kaboom. Skip that dialogue. Something? How are you going to get us on board the Ark? Don't we need to make another scan? Oh, don't you worry. You don't operate something like the Omega Space Gun with your bare hands. You mean... It's a pilot seat? Like back at Omicron? Yes, and we can use it to transfer you to the Ark while operating the gun. Two birds and all that. Now, take the Omni tool and plug it in next to the seat and I'll guide you through the final steps. Alright, here we go. The big moment. The one thing that's different from my original playthrough is I did unplug first Simon. Or second Simon. Yeah, second Simon. This is third Simon. I unplug second Simon. So I guess I guess I'll see what happens here with that. I guess I'll find out. First time for everything. Yeah, I red pilled him. I I made sure I gave him a merciful death. have to suffer in the black void anymore. Oh, yeah. Oh. I'll never get used to that. Guess you won't have to. Not after this is over. Right. Have a seat. Comfortable? As good as it's gonna get. Okay, I'll activate the seat. You should be able to use the machines to load the bullet you assembled. How do you operate this thing? Don't know, I never tried this one. But pilot seats are notoriously easy to use, so it shouldn't be a problem. Does the, um... Does killing the WoW, does that, like, end the game? Like, is that an ending? I can't remember. God, I'm stupid. Fuck. There we go. 
Yeah, because I I didn't kill the WoW the first uh, first time around either. And we're off. But we need to transfer our minds to the Ark. We also need to make sure it launches at all, so I tied them to a single switch. Just push the button and we're off. Thirty seconds. End of the game right here. I saw it. It finished loading just before it launched. Yeah, I saw. Then why are we still here? Simon, I can't keep telling you how it works. You won't listen. You know why we're here. You were copied onto the Ark. You just didn't carry over. You lost the coin toss. We both did. Just like Simon and Omicron. Just like the man who died in Toronto a hundred years ago. No, no, no. This is bullshit. We came all this way. We launched the Ark. I know it sucks. But our copies are up there. Catherine and Simon are both safe on the Ark. Be happy for them. Are you crazy? We're gonna die down here with those fuckers living at large on a spaceship. They're not us. They're not us. I'm sorry you feel that way, Simon. I'm proud of what we did. We made sure that something of the hundreds of thousands of years of human history survived, that something lives on. No, 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 no. Fuck this. Fuck. Fuck this. Fuck you! Fuck you, Catherine! You lied! And I believed in you! I trusted you! You said we're getting on the fucking Ark! We are on the Ark, you idiot! I didn't lie! I can't be responsible for your goddamn ignorance! You fuck! Fuck! Catherine? Please don't leave me alone. Catherine? Catherine? Simon would be there forever with WoW with its proxies just with nothing no one forever until his, his suit died out or WoW got him because he lost the coin toss his consciousness wasn't the one that made it on the Ark. It was another one. Much like how there's another Simon waiting back at Tau. Or not Tau. I remember I played the ending uh, when I played this game the first time and that like that ending I was already feeling like pretty alone at that time of my life but man that ending really fucks with me there's a lot of shit that's scary in this game but that that scares me I think that that whole ending is scarier than anything else in this game 
can you imagine just being like stuck at the bottom of the fucking ocean with nothing but like a, a, a manic computer AI that is like reforming life to fit its code and is like actively trying to kill you and assimilate it with itself. Well, okay, he does have a friend, sure. But it's like, how long do they last? What do they do? Do they go back and then kill WoW? Do the, or, or, you know, and kill the other proxies and like... I don't know, I, I guess... Exist? Just begs the question, what's the point of it all? And now, the Simon that made it. Whoa. Is this... did it work? I feel like I'm playing Far Cry 3. So, you guys remember that little survey we took at the, like, very start of the game? Time for round two. Knowing what we know now. How would you describe your physical condition? I feel normal. I feel invigorated. I feel alien. Or I feel fake. All right, Cloudy says two. Lexi, what do you choose? Is, did Lexi leave? Oh no, two, okay. Never mind. How would you describe your mental condition? I feel normal. I feel disconnected. I feel altered or I feel lost. I don't know, it like keeps going back and forth between two and three people, and I don't know what the fuck is going on. Uh, three, okay. How would you describe your senses? As expected, I feel more sensitive to and aware of my surroundings. I feel blocked or I'm lacking one or more of my natural senses. How would you describe the sensation of your new condition? It's pleasant. I don't like it. It's disconcerting or depressing. Well, it's also 2 a.m. her time, and I don't get the sense that she's a night owl. Are you troubled by the fact that you are no longer strictly human? No, I feel fine. Somewhat? I feel like I lost myself. Yes, I mourn my previous, ex previous existence. Or I don't care what form I take. As long as I get to carry on. I don't know, man. You're the one who has to, like, dip out and stuff. I don't know. 
Be like, I'm going to bed. I have to be a responsible student. Um. <laughs> I feel like I'm making fun of that. I'm not making fun of that. You should be good in school. It is good. You should learn. Enjoy the experience while you're at it. How do you perceive your new existence? I just realized I didn't wait for Lexi to respond <laughs> for what her choice was. I feel like you're, she's just going with Cloudy anyway. Um, how do you perceive your new existence? It's a direct continuation of myself, like a new chapter. It's like being born all over again, or it's something completely different and has nothing to do with my previous self. <laughs> Fuck. Three. I will wait for Lexi that to- Oh, we have a dispute. Do two then? I guess I kind of like two. I agree with that. I agree with that. Though, when I played this game the first time around, I just picked all the depressing options because I was like... I guess my view on things was different then my philosophical views um do you think that this new existence will be a life worth living yes just as much as my previous yes but with less meaning maybe we can find a new sense of meaning in this world and no it's too detached from reality and everything i know three three okay would you rather be removed from the project and accept death no maybe or yes Your answers have been saved. Thank you for participating. Some nice, peaceful ambiance. Oh, okay. No, yeah, same. That's why I hate having to get up at 9 a.m. Uh, now for work. Fucking sucks cock. I hate it. I used to work second shift and then um, I kind of had to take a mid shift role, so. Unfortunately, I can't sleep in until 1 p.m. every day like I used to f for, you know, like th three years. God, it was great. Best sleep of my life. There was never a day I went into work tired. It was great. And now I go into work tired all the time. Catherine? Catherine! I can't believe we actually made it. Well, we did. I'm so relieved. It's okay, Simon. Everything's alright now. Oh yeah, there's Earth. Post-impact Earth. Bunch of the, the surface is like on fucking fire. I mean, it's not too different from our current world, but you know. <laughs> and off the art goes to carry on the human story. Wow, be doing Earth 2. <laughs> if Earth is so great, why isn't there an Earth 2? Well, now Wow is making it happen. The Earth is now Wow's. To shape and mold as it pleases.
I don't have to I don't have to be anywhere until four o'clock tomorrow. Going to see a realtor about buying a house. And there you have it. That was Soma.